Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I want to install a LAMP server on my Raspberry Pi and uh, I decided to record it and make a video tutorial. Maybe this could be useful for someone else. So um, this is the first time that I'm installing a LAMP server on a Raspberry Pi. I, I have done this before a thousand times on other Linux distributions, but this is the first time I'm trying it on, on my Raspberry. And there shouldn't be much difference uh, between a Raspberry Pi and other Linux distributions. So hopefully I will not be having any problems. And uh, I'm going to follow the instructions I found on this link. This is one of the first links that I found on, on Google when I search for installing Apache, MySQL, and PHP on, on a Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I have already signed in in my Raspberry using SSH. And um, let's see, what should we do? So I already have the prerequisites. Let's update it. So I'm going to run this code here. Let's see if everything is updated. Okay, it took approximately more than 10 minutes to update my Raspberry Pi. And I think now we are able to install Apache. So Apache is a, a web server and um, it's a web server software, which is very popular. You can read more description on this link about Apache 2 if you're interested. And um, let's install it. So this is the command for the installation. I'm going to paste it here and press enter. Usually it doesn't take that much time and it installs pretty fast. Okay, the Apache is now installed. Let's clear the window. Okay, now let's go to root and um, check if it's installed. There we go. We should go to www.html. Okay, let's see what do we have here. So we have index.html and um, we should be able to see this HTML file. But first we need to know the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. So let's write hostname-i. So this is the IP address of my Raspberry. Once I open this link, I should be able to see the index. Okay, it is not opening the page for me. Probably it's because my firewall is blocking the port, so I should do something. So I have to open the port number 80. That is the port that Apache is using. So I have to write sudo ufw allow port number 80. ufw is the firewall that I'm using and I'm telling it to allow me to use port number 80. Okay, so as you can see, the port is now open and I can see the default page of Apache 2. Okay, what's next? Um, now we should install PHP. So this is the command for installing PHP. Great, so now PHP is also installed. Let's clear this and um, we can now create a PHP file instead of the the HTML file just to test if PHP is working correctly. So I will delete this um, HTML file in the sudo rm 
index.html. And now we can create a PHP file. So you can write a very simple script, which is written here just to test it. Now you have to press Control C and then write Y, which means yes, and then enter. Okay, now our index.php is there. So technically, if I refresh this, I should see hello world. Okay, I have a typo here. I shouldn't have written this W. Um, so our Apache and our PHP is now working pretty good. Now it says we have to restart the Apache for that to say finally restart this. I think it's not necessary because I didn't do it and it works fine. But anyway, let's follow the instruction. A restart won't hurt. Um, you can remove that index file that you just created, but I don't care, just leave it there. Now I would like to install MySQL and uh, PHP MySQL, which lets you to create a database. Okay, now MariaDB and MySQL is also installed. Let's restart the Apache server, just in case. And uh, now it says it's better to run this command as well for more security. So let's see. Okay, it wants the root password, but it says if you've just installed MariaDB and you haven't set the root password yet, the password will be blank. So it should be technically blank. Okay, then it says, setting the root password ensures that nobody can log into the MariaDB root user without the proper authorization. You wanna set the root password? Yes. So I set a root password. remove anonymous users. Okay, so here it says we should remove anonymous users. We should disallow push login remotely, remove test database and access to it, and then reload privilege tables. Okay, so there we go, we have it. Okay, now I need to install phpMyAdmin. For now, I skip this part because I think it's not necessary. Let's see, if I can't log in to my PHP, uh, my admin, the administration panel for MySQL, then I will come back to this part. So for now, let's install phpMyAdmin. This gives you a very beautiful panel to manage your databases, add or remove things. Okay, here it says choose phpMyAdmin. So I chose that one. I chose Apache 2. So configuring phpMyAdmin, we should say yes. And then we need a password.
Okay, it didn't, I think it didn't ask me the second question, but let's see. Now it says we should enable the MySQL I extension. Now let's restart the Apache server once again. Now we should technically be able to log in our PHP my admin. So let's see. Okay, so I'm having this not found error. It says that when you go to your Raspberry Pi address followed by this, in case you probably see the not found error page in your browser, if that's the case, you'll have to move the phpMyAdmin folder to this directory. So I have to run this command, but before all of this, let, let me remove this index.php file. I don't want troubles. Okay. So I'm already in the HTML directory. The only thing I have to do is to copy this. Okay. Now if you list the files, it should return the phpMyAdmin folder. So let's see. There we go. Yeah, we have it. And reload. Let's reload. Okay, nice. We have it here. So it says enter your defined username. It should be username root and the password you defined during the installation. So let's see. Access denied for user root at localhost. Okay, I am having an error. I searched a little bit on the internet and I go back to instructions and there was this part that I skipped and uh, it says that if you had problems logging in to phpMyAdmin, the problem that I just had, we have to follow this. Okay, so let's follow these commands and see what happens. So I'm going to log in to my SQL. Okay, unfortunately it doesn't show properly the commands. It's probably due to colors that I chose for this terminal. But anyway, it doesn't matter. And now we want to create a new user called admin. And uh, I will change the password. Okay, now let's grant all of the privileges that I have access to everything. Everything seems fine. Now I flush the privileges. And now exit. So I should be able to log in to MySQL, to PHP MySQL now with the admin user. There we go. We now have access to our phpMyAdmin. So let's see what else we have here. I think we almost have anything. There are some optional setups here. It says that to manage your web pages, you should change the permissions for your HTML folder to do this. I think that's not necessary at this point. If you want to do some other stuff and give permissions to these folders and so on, you can follow this um, optional commands as well. So this was the tutorial for installing um, 
a LAMP server on a Raspberry Pi. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful. Thank you very much for watching.